Ronnie Rosenthal scored some great goals, unbelievable goals, but we won't remember them. And do you know why? Because of this. Scene of the crime is Villa Park. Liverpool are visitors. Poor old Ronnie Rosenthal did the hard part pretty well. How did he do that? Well, you know, a lot of times during the course of a football season, those of us who just watch it for a living or for fun say to each other, I could have done that, I could have done better there. And 999 times out of 1,000, we're wrong, because actually we couldn't. They're very good players. Ronnie Rosenthal is a very good player. But here was the one occasion where I would have scored, and so would you. There was a ball and there was a goal. There was only one outcome, and somehow, bless him, Ronnie hit the bar. It was an extraordinary achievement, his failure to score there. Hats off to him. Just think of the string of great strikers that have come out of Israeli football. No, no, just, just think about the great string of strikers that... No, uh, fair point. He is no relation, by the way, Ronnie. Everywhere I go, certainly up in Merseyside, I'd be going, all right, Ronnie, all right, Ronnie. He is no relation. And um, uh, that miss... It is one of those that you look at and you say, A, how did he manage to miss it? And B, I would have tapped that one in. But it is one of the very, very few occasions, and I've actually said this to Ronnie, when I think in that position, I might have just scored from there. I think where, for me, Ronnie really lets himself down is not in hitting the ball, because it is a shocking miss. But I've been done the same myself a number of times. The first thing you do is look at the pitch and let the fans know. Look to the crowd, look to the pitch as if there's a bobble. Ronnie takes it far too much on the chin. It's almost everything comes on him. Straight away, look at the pitch, blame the groundsman, and you can usually get away with it.